Drive Reduction Theory Drive Reduction Theory was created by behaviorist Clark Hull and was developed further by his collaborator Kenneth Spence. Hull based his theory on the earlier theories that relate to the concepts of motivation, taking inspiration from prominent scientists such as John B. Watson, Ivan Pavlov, and Edward Thorndike. Drive Reduction Theory is a major behavioralist theory of learning. It posits that organisms are motivated to reduce drives to maintain homeostasis. Here, a drive is any internal state that motivates an organism to satisfy a need. Drive reduction theory is based on the idea that the primary motivation behind all human behavior is to reduce drives. A drive is a state of arousal or discomfort which is triggered by a person's physiological or biological needs such as hunger, thirst, and the need for warmth. According to the theory, when a person's drive emerges, they will be in an unpleasant state of tension which causes them to behave in such a way that this tension is reduced. To reduce the tension they feel, they will seek out ways to satisfy their biological needs. Drive reduction theory is based on the concept of homeostasis, which is the idea that the body actively works to maintain a state of balance or equilibrium. According to the theory, as soon as there is an unmet need within the body, a person starts behaving in a manner that allows them to address this need, reduce the drive, and achieve a state of balance. How does drive reduction theory explain human behavior? Drive reduction theory suggests that human behavior results from wanting to reduce the drives we have. It is thought that there are primary and secondary drives. Primary drives are innate biological needs such as being hungry or thirsty. Whereas secondary drives are those learned through conditioning or association with a primary drive, such as money and social acceptance. In order to minimize the discomfort that is being caused by primary drives such as hunger, someone may go to the shop, purchase food, cook it and then eat it. All these behaviors are caused by the drives according to drive reduction theory. After the individual's needs are fulfilled, they then reach homeostasis once again and the drive to fulfill their needs is reduced. Behaviorism, also known as behavioral psychology, is the belief that human actions are shaped by environmental stimuli. Drive reduction theory is founded in behaviorist principles to explain behavior. The key concepts of behaviorism include arousal, homeostasis, conditioning, and reinforcement. Arousal Arousal in psychology is a state of physiological activation or a cortical response associated with sensory stimulation. Behaviorists believe that we are motivated by arousal. As arousal levels change, we are said to naturally change our behavior to get back to our optimal level of arousal. If arousal is too low, then we may do something to stimulate ourselves. Whereas, if arousal is too high, we may try to reduce stimulation by relaxing or choosing to be alone. Homeostasis Homeostasis is a term that refers to the physiological balance which is achieved when an organism's internal needs have been met. An organism will regulate their internal environment to achieve this balance such as adjusting body temperature, blood sugar levels, or achieving hydration. In psychology, Homeostasis can also refer to keeping your mental state balanced. Conditioning and reinforcement. Conditioning means to learn about the world through reinforcement. Hull explained. Human behavior in terms of conditioning and reinforcement. In terms of drive reduction theory, the reduction of the drive functions as a reinforcement of the behavior that helped the person to satisfy their unfulfilled need. Such reinforcement, according to the theory, increases the likelihood that the person will behave in the same manner in the future to address that particular drive. Drive reduction theory therefore works on the same stimulus-response relationship that is associated with the conditioning form of learning. Critical evaluation. It ignores the role of secondary reinforcers. The issue with Hull's theory is that it fails to explain how drive can also be reinforced by secondary drives. For instance, money and social acceptance are secondary drives that are not needed to fulfill our primary biological needs, but money can be used to buy food to survive on and meet our primary needs. 
Why do we overindulge? Drive reduction theory does not explain why we may overindulge our primary needs even when they are fulfilled. For instance, eating a three-course meal or having another slice of pizza when already full, or continuing to drink when not particularly thirsty. What about thrill-seeking behaviors? Drive reduction theory has been criticized for not explaining why humans engage in thrill-seeking behaviors. For example, someone may leave the comfort of their home to go hike up a mountain or bungee jump. Being aroused is not always positive. Drive reduction theory is unable to explain why humans fail under high arousal. While excitement or feeling nervous can help someone, there is a point where the anxiety becomes too much and actually prevents someone from performing to a high standard. For instance, someone may become so anxious about completing an examination that they falter under the pressure and do not perform as well as they could do. How has drive reduction theory impacted our idea of motivation? While it is not favored in psychology today, Drive reduction theory still influenced other psychologists at the time and helped to contribute to later research. Many of the motivational theories that emerged during the 1950s and 1960s were either based on Hull's original theory or were focused on providing alternatives to drive reduction theory. An example of another motivation theory which emerged as an alternative to drive reduction theory is Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Maslow's famous hierarchy explains that while humans are motivated to meet their basic physiological needs, they are also motivated to meet their psychological needs of love, belonging, and self-esteem. 